Welcome to another edition of Telescope Man. Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. You know, they had some interesting conversations on astronomyforum.net about cleaning uh, both your mirror on your daub, like this one, and about cleaning your eyepieces. So I was going to do a little demonstration and kind of show you just how tough some of these eyepiece lenses are, all right? So I'm using this uh, very good, low-cost GSO Superview 2-inch, which I use at a lot of public observing events, especially when there's kids around, because I don't want to pull out my two and $300 eyepieces. So I'm going to demonstrate it on this eyepiece, okay? Are you all ready now? You know, this... This can probably happen to your eyepiece. You know, somebody licks it. <laughs> kind of like that. Uh, some kid, you know, he licks on it like that. Now, what are you going to do next? You really have two choices. You can clean it, or you can throw it in the trash because you think it's ruined, okay? It's not ruined. And we're going to show you some very unusual techniques on how to clean this that go against everything that you've ever heard from those old, decrepit, amateur astronomers that are older than me. And that's pretty old. And it's just a bunch of bunk, okay? It's a bu bunch of bunk. People worried about things they don't need to be worried about. So... <clears throat> I have just ruined this eyepiece. See, I licked on it <laughs> kind of like that. All right, which could happen at a public observing event. Some kid might come along, you know, and go, hey, and rub his thumb all over it, just like that. Okay. He might. He might do that, or he put his finger on it, see, like that, like I just did. All right, he might do that too. So, believe me. This eyepiece needs to be cleaned or thrown away right now. So we're going to proceed to clean it. Now, you remember we've talked about in the past that uh, old man Al Nagler, you might have heard of his eyepieces. They sell for $20 and $30 a piece, Nagler eyepieces. Not really. Well, he uses Windex to clean his eyepieces, okay? So, plain blue Windex. Now, I take an additional step with Windex, and I will run it through a coffee filter. You know, one of those little paper coffee filters like you can buy in the store. Uh, just plain blue Windex. Plain blue Windex. That works just fine. I'll get a coffee filter, put it over a bowl or something that's real clean, and I will pour the... Windex through that filter just in case there might be some particles in that Windex, okay? Just in case. So then I take what's in the bowl or whatever and I put it into a little container like this that I can carry around out in the field with me. And you can buy these, you know, go to Walmart in those travel center things, you know, with the little bitty. Uh, deodorants and a little bitty toothpaste and you're bound to find something in a little bitty bottle like this that you can basically empty out if you don't want to use it and then use it to store some Windex all right the one thing I want you to remember is that eyepiece lenses are no really no different than a regular camera lens a nikon camera lens or a canon camera lens they basically have the same type of coatings on there and they are just as tough as a regular camera lens what you what you don't want to have is sand particles that are on this lens something real gritty all right that would scratch the lens. So as long as you take some precautions to make sure that 
there's really no sand or gritty material on here, you you run a very low risk of ever scratching your eyepiece. Glass, and I have never ever scratched an eyepiece glass in all the years I've been doing this. Okay, never ever. All right. So today I'm gonna show you some of the little techniques that we use to clean while we're out in the field and some kid might have licked your eyepiece just like that right in the middle of a public observing event and now you don't know what you're going to do all right so the first thing you need to do is pack yourself up a little get you a little plastic bag like this see and what i've got in here is what everybody recommends but i'm going to show you another technique I've got some nice pure white cotton balls in there. I've got some Q-tips in there. All right. And then, of course, I have my little bottle of Windex. All right. And I carry this in my eyepiece bag because, you know, it doesn't really take up very much space. Okay. It doesn't take up much space in the bag. And if I'm out in the field, I've got all the cleaning materials I need. Typically, I do not carry my Windex out in the field. Okay, typically. Instead, I've got some of these little packets of uh, Zeiss camera lens wipes, little packages, and you can buy this, you know, all over the place. I think I bought that at Walmart. There you go. Let me give you a real good look at that. Zeiss Lens Cleaning Wipes Pre-Moistened, okay, and I carry some of these out in the field with me just in case some kid does that to the eyepiece while we're having a star party, all right? So in this bag, I've got four or five of these little packages in this thing along with some cotton balls and some q-tips that i can use out in the field to clean a lens with all right and again that, i pack that in with my eyepieces now remember you can buy a big box it's very inexpensive you know and you get a whole bunch of these lens cloths or lens tissues uh, in one of these boxes. This one had 50 of them in it. Okay, going to last a real good long while. All right? So go buy you some of these. The other thing that you'll see us carrying in the field, I wonder what this is. Oh, this is the ubiquitous Kleenex box. The ubiquitous Kleenex box with white Kleenex, non-perfumed, plain white Kleenex, and believe me, this is one of the best lens cleaning devices that you can possibly carry out in the field is some white Kleenex. Now, some of my Astro Buddies use soft, white, non-perfumed toilet paper. Same thing, very soft, all right? Very soft material, not gonna, it's not going to do anything to your lens. And they'll carry a few sheets of that soft uh, toilet paper out in the field. Uh, since I don't want to be laughed at in the field, I usually carry Windex or Kleenex with me. So they won't laugh at me uh, when I pull out the roll of toilet paper. Anyway, this is the devices that you need, these expensive devices that you need to clean your lens, your eyepiece lens out in the field. Is some of those wipes, a little package with cotton balls if you prefer to use cotton balls. If you think that's the way to do it, fine. Carry you some out there and carry you some Kleenex. Because when you're finished cleaning the lens, the best thing you can do for it, you can laugh at me now, but don't laugh. Guarantee you the lens will be sparkling clean and nothing's going to happen to it. So let's pretend I've already cleaned this. I breathe on that lens and get it dewed up, you know, a little bit. And then I wipe it gently 
with a perfectly clean brand new piece of Kleenex and boy that puts the finishing touch to the cleanliness of the lens okay so let's clean this lens you know I've licked on this thing and stuck my finger on this thing and did just about everything else to this thing that you could possibly imagine me doing so what's the next device this is called a lens pen lens pen l-e-n-s p-e-n if you will google lens pen all one word home you will go to the real site to buy these lens pens you're going to find a ton of knockoffs on eBay that are real cheap, you know, two dollars, three dollars. I've even seen dollar and a half ones. All right, you don't want to buy those. Those suckers are made, you know, no telling where. You really don't know what's uh, the cleaning material that's in this tip. Go out there and buy yourself a real lens pen. Let's see if I can put this up close so you can really see what the Thing looks like yeah let's try that all right a real lens pen again if you google lens pen home you will go to the real lens pen site where you can buy these now what is this little device if you've never seen one well on one end of it is a little uh, thing and you push it and a soft camel hair brush comes out from the inside right there all right then on the other end there's a cap you turn this kind of back and forth because there is cleaning dry cleaning material up here in the top of this cap and a soft special chamois on the other end of the from the uh, camel hair brush okay so you put it in there and give it a couple of twists and then pull it out and this is what you use to clean your eyepiece lens with all right and it's called a lens pen it works great we have used these on naglers and televues and everything else they do a spectacular job if you use them correctly you will not scratch your lens so we're going to do that correctly right now so first thing i do is i pop out the camel hair brush and i brush off this lens kind of vigorously because I want to make sure there are no dirt particles on that lens that might scratch it. I want to make sure all the grit, any grit, is gone from that lens. All right. Now I can't really show you this, but if you were looking at it, you know it doesn't look real good right now because I licked it and then put my fingers all over it. All right. So now I'm going to take the other end. I've brushed that lens off very well. I'm going to take the other end of this lens pen. And I'm going to simply go in a circular direction very gently. Not applying a lot of pressure. And then I'm going to come back across the center a couple of times. And let's see what happens. Oh, by the way, I usually breathe on it before I do this. And here we go. And I'm just going around a couple of times. And since I really did a job on this thing, I'm going to do it again. So I'm twisting this thing in the cap a little bit just to get some more of this cleaner on it, dry cleaner. And I'm going to do it one more time. And I can tell you that this glass on here, I'm going to attempt to show it to you. 
is pristine. All right, it's pristine. It is perfect. Let's just see. I don't know if you can tell. I'm trying to get some reflection in it, but you can see it is absolutely pristine and cleaned up, even though I licked it three or four times and put my fingers all over it, all right? And I did all that with this one little low-cost device called a lens pin. Now, you don't have a lens pin, but you might have some of these camera lens cleaning tissues. So we're going to do that. You still need some kind of a camel hair brush, some kind of short camel hair brush, or some kind of device, little puff things that you can squeeze and they blow air across it to blow off the lens. Because again, you always want to start by brushing or blowing the lens off. Spend a little time doing that before you actually get in there and clean it with one of these cloths. So we're going to open this up. These are all pre-moistened cloths, so they're ready to go. And if I can get it out of this little aluminum package, I want to show you what it looks like a little bit before I use it. It's just a pre-moistened little cloth in there. So we're going to kind of fold it up a little bit and we're going to go across this lens just a little bit in different directions. Let's see if I can. I'm turning the cloth. You notice that? I'm using another section of the cloth now. I'm not continuing to use the same part of it. I keep folding it and changing it. All right, one more time. And again, this lens is beautiful right now, okay? It is beautiful. So what do I use this Kleenex for? It's clean. You could leave it like it is, all right? I like to, one more time, kind of blow on it, and then very gently, very gently, very quietly, very gently, kind of wipe it with this brand new Kleenex one time. And it is like factory new. Factory new. We didn't do a thing to it except got my tongue off of there and my fingerprints. All right. That's all we did. You got to remember, too, that some kind of dirt, it can only be removed by water. It's water soluble. So breathing on it like that and then using this Kleenex gets that final little bit of uh, stuff off of there that only water dampness can get off, okay? So that's why I use that Kleenex last. So don't be afraid. Take your televues and nagglers into the field. Let the kids lick them. <laughs> Let them put their fingerprints on them, bubble gum, whatever. And then use these simple techniques to clean up that eyepiece once the pub public observing event is over. So until next time, I wish you clear skies. And remember... Keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See y'all later.